What's up and good evening. Welcome to Electrical Solutions YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about two prong outlets changing to three prong outlets and whether that's okay or not. Um, the short answer is probably not and it depends on whether there's grounding to the box. If you, it's a two wire setup like this and you have a plastic box and you want to switch it to a three pronged outlet with only two wires, plastic box, not okay. Will not be safe, it's actually dangerous for you. The reason behind that is this wire bonds to the neutral back in the panel. It allows the source to meet together in the transformer and bring the current back, tripping the breaker if there's an issue. So if there's no connection here, there's a big problem because it has nowhere to go if there's a fault. There is a solution for it. And this is your solution. A GFCI set up on the line side only, unless you have other outlets that are being protected. You then have to identify those outlets as being GFCI protected. And then the wire that goes to those, the wire that provides power off of the breaker goes to the line side. Wire that comes off of all the other outlets go to the load side so that they are protecting. Then you can do this setup as long as this is downhill from it. If not, um, there's no there's no way for the trip. So what this thing is doing is it's protecting it if there's a uh, amperage difference that's leaving somewhere else. So it, it's sensing what's coming in to what's going out. And if it sees whatever's going out isn't the same that's going uh, coming back in, it will trip. Now this is your correct wiring setup because you have your hot wire, you have your ground wire or your neutral wire, grounded wire or neutral and you have your equipment grounding conductor. These two are connected in the panel. That's what makes this setup safe because if it somehow uh, this comes connected to this, it's actually essentially the same thing as here theory wise and it will draw because this has no or very minimal resistance, it will trip the breaker bone. So if you're, I see this a lot. If you're like, hey, I got these ugly old two prong outlets and only two wire setup plastic box, then uh, be careful what you do because you may be putting in yourself into a bad situation. Now, if you did, the only option is not just GFCIs. <clears throat> you can run a grounding, uh, equipment grounding conductor to each one of the boxes. There are some rules for that. Um, in the NEC and under two, uh, two, article 250. You'd, you'd typically, you would just run it from the enclosure or the panel board to wherever you're taking it from. Sometimes in the older houses though, um, they didn't fully understand what was going on and they would bring it through the back of the box. So there'll be grounding wire in there, but it won't be connected to anything in there. It'll be brought through the back holes and tied together there. I am still yet, to figure out why they did that. I figure it's just an industry thing and nobody exactly knew what was going on. But if you do have a two wire setup and you have a metal box and your grounding wire is connected to it, it is, you would want to test continuity between the box and your white wire. And if you get continuity between the box and your white wire without this touching it, then you're good to go ahead and connect this because that tells me the box is grounded and once you tighten these screws down. These are also grounding screws because they're mach machine thread. So, and this yoke is all tied together. So if you do that the, and you got continuity there, you're good to go. If not, you can run a ground from the enclosure or from any of the grounding electrodes um, or use GFCI, identify it. Um, but if you're just switching it over from a two prong to a three prong and there is no grounding, you are making it unsafe for other people and yourself. All right, thank you for watching, have a good day.